Welcome back to Rimworld. I was just quickly dealing with some of the feedback from yesterday. Uh, somebody said that the research benches weren't quite lined up, so I've gone ahead and fixed that so that every research bench is connected up to one of these tables. I think they've each got now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 20. Yeah, 20 research counters on that one, and then uh, 20. Yeah, 20 research counts on that one. So they're all active now, and basically as good as they're going to get. The other thing I wanted to do before we started here was install a mecha tentacle on one of our cyber orcs, probably Sharamus. However, something came up which has prevented me from really carrying on with any sort of background progress, getting things set for the episode here. Basically, we had a settlement come under attack. So this is a new feature of the Empire mod that settlements will be attacked by a faction. Apparently, they're under attack from the Blue Moon Corporation. Hopefully, that doesn't correlate to it being any harder than any other attack because obviously the Blue Moon Corporation is one of the most advanced corporations on the... or one of the most advanced factions on the planet right now. So we've got to try and figure out how the hell this works? Let's take a look at the world map then, see what we've got. So it was these guys here, right? Yeah, so defense settlement. Um, settlement defending information, Lobo, Quar Lobo's quarry. Okay, so military three, right. Change defending force. Available troop. Can I bring in other defending force to help them or do I have to just pick one? Military sent. Okay, cool. Um, but if you look at that, it now says military level two. Maybe I just pick one. 20 military has been reset. So yeah, because that's our most powerful defensive settlement anyway. Um, I don't know if there is a way to send all of our other settlements to go and help these guys out. Change defending force. Available true. And how many settlements have we got again? Uh, four of the settlements. Yeah, I think that basically we just pick a military to defend it with. So what we actually might want to do then uh, is set up a military... Set up a, a specifically military base, uh, maybe on the plane somewhere to grow a lot of food for it, and then try and grow it as soon as possible to have the biggest military possible to quickly be able to dispatch and get to all of our settlements. That might be something we have to work on today, then, bear in mind that this is... I don't know, you know, what military level 3 has uh, in relation to the Blue Moon Corporation rating. I have no idea what we, we have to expect with this. So, I think this time, we'll, we'll just see what happens. We'll see how it plays out. As it says there, Lobo's uh, been about to be attacked by Bloomin' Corporation. We'll just see what happens. And then from there, we should be able to gauge from the future what we kind of need to do to make sure that the attack, if it is a failure, doesn't happen again. Now, one thing I am doing is I'm killing off some of these bloody blizzards because we have a ridiculous amount to the extent that they're just all starving to death anyway. You can see that those bars are from where we've killed blizzards. The other blizzards are eating them. So... I figured we might as well just kill them, and otherwise they're just going to starve to death anyway, right? So I've gone down to roughly 20 Blizzarisks, I think I left it at in the end. Um, so we butchered all the way down to, yeah, Blizzarisk 30. So actually we've got 30 Blizzarisks, roughly. Obviously we've lost one or two. Uh, actually, no, in fact, have we lost any at all? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, no, I think that leaves us with exactly 30. So I've killed off roughly 20 of them. Um, and also in the hopes that that will speed the game up slightly. One of the big reasons why things are slightly delayed in games is because we essentially had a hundred things on the map at once there. Including the robots, including our people, the prisoner, the other animals too. It was a lot for the game to manage on a single map at once. So hopefully this will help clear things up a little bit. Alright, yeah, what taxes did we get? Um, 334 Plasteel and 601 Sky Steel. Again, more Sky Steel, but to be fair... Sky Steel is just a direct replacement of steel a lot of the time. Obviously, d specific recipes like components, you can't use Sky Steel for, naturally. But for crafting things, weapons, armor, that will work. In fact, it's better than regular steel. It's obviously a lot rarer than regular steel, too. To be honest, it might be better to turn it into artwork and then sell it. I'm, I'm not entirely sure the best method for that. Anyway, um, okay, and obviously the Plasteel is fantastic as well. Would still love some regular steel at some stage, but we, will, uh, we, we should be able to when our... When our trade caravan turns up, should be able to deal with that. Can I find out how far away our trade caravan is? Hang on, let's go get Delta to speak to them. Hang on, Broken Empire? No, 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 Empire Sphere. I don't know how long until those guys are going to turn up, whether, whether there is a way to find caravans en route or anything like that. I can't say I've ever used it before. Uh, right, there it is. Trust a trade caravan, wait, 2.1 days. Um, Are they on the map, perhaps? Who's that? Oh, Smooth Octopus is... Oh, uh, Smooth Octopus and Watson came about, right, of course. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's one of the messages. Let me see if I can find it. It doesn't matter too much either way. They'll, they'll turn up when they turn up. It's not like we can uh, influence anymore. In fact, do we have any other friendly colonies we can call up? Uh, no, no, we really don't. The Neb Nebon Nedla Dynasty, Neutral Plus Two, Kingdom of Bunter. We might be able to call for a trade caravan, but it's 25 opinion, isn't it? Or something like that. 
I don't know, maybe we could send them some silver in the hopes that eventually we can send them a caravan. Um, must be an ally. We'd have to invite them for a, a visit first, I guess, and then using the... Do we even have the hospitality mod this time? I don't believe we do. Yeah, to be honest, I don't even know how we'd make friends with them. Well, I suppose we could drop pod them some shit, but I'm not going to be... Although, we could drop pod them some shit and then invite a caravan over. It genuinely might work. It seems weird, but it's just a way of bribing them to send what we want. And we do have a lot of steel still kicking around. Oh, they're back. Nice. Okay. Uh, so these guys have some steel anyway, don't they? What have you got? Uh, so you've got six advanced components, 52 berries. Thank you. And then you've got, oh, the psychic emanator. How could I forget? And then the 45 plasteel as well. Very nice. So where do we want to get the, pla the uh, psychic emanator installed? Probably best to either put it in the workroom or I guess maybe the hospital. Um, bear in mind, there's not much point putting it in the, in, the, in the living area, given that their mood's already going to be so high in there. Oh, there they are. Right, right on cue. Nice work. Okay, let's go ahead and get, um, let's get that dropped and let's get it installed. I think the workroom is probably the best idea. To be fair, we can install it, if we install it like there, that covers the whole workroom and some of the recreation room and the kitchen as well. That's quite a large radius, isn't it? Sure. Okay, it covers the butcher room, covers outdoors if they're, if, if they're out there getting, obviously if they're bringing in some of the resources, they're going out to handle the crops, it deals with most of the ways to the outdoor of the base as well. Basically, people are going to be passing through this quite frequently, so I think that's a fairly sensible area to put it in. Right, where's that mining supply then? Hello. And obviously they haven't got anything to worry about in regards to the mechanoids anymore either. It's plus five. Yeah, there we go. One thing I noticed as well, this is quite fun. The additional ingredients we got is, uh, have definitely paid off. Because now, I don't think she's still got it anymore. Um, a rare ingredient, a uncommon ingredient. That's an additional three. Plus the meal, that's 15 overall mood from one meal. Her son dying is a minus 20. So eating one tasty meal with all these new ingredients is almost as... Uh, almost has as much of an effect on her mood in terms of net positive as her son dying has on her negative. Five points in it. Between that and the Psychic Emanator as she sat eating the meal, we've completely cancelled out all of the negative effects of her son dying. Welcome to Rimod. Incredible. Those ingredients were definitely worthwhile. I'm glad we've got a bit more of a variation. It's obviously quite boring to have nothing but, uh, nothing but whatever it is we were eating before. Rice, corn. I've also made it so that the Blizzardisk eggs are no longer kept in the freezer by default. I have started to put them out into the... Although, we could just let them hatch and butcher them, couldn't we, in hindsight? The only problem with that is right now, all the spiders we've got are juvenile. So I can't add a job and limit... I could limit it to, what, 25, 30 juveniles? 29 juveniles? And then if we get any more juveniles after that, they'll just be instantly butchered. I guess we could do it that way, couldn't we? Okay, sure, why not? Let's, let's go ahead and change that out then. Um, so, 26 female, 26 male. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much either way. Um, 29. Should we, should we just say 15 of each? And then... That way, any excess will be butchered. That we could just set to infinite amounts, because obviously we're not going to get any more than the juveniles will allow anyway. Um, although, no, in hindsight, they will. Let's go 15-15. So we can only ever have 15 spiders at any one time. When they level up from juvenile to adult, they'll just get butchered. And when we get over our juvenile level, they'll be butchered anyway. Granted, that could be a potential maximum of 60 spiders at once. How do we want to do this, then? We should just allow, like... Okay, yeah, until they grow up, there's no real way, unfortunately, to do this to a decent degree. Um, and obviously when they turn into adults, we can just adjust the bill anyway. I'll say back to 999. It, it makes no difference on the adult, I'll be honest with you. It's just the juvenile that matters. Uh, so they should now butcher the excess, and then we'll go ahead and let the eggs hatch. That way we can butcher at least get some meat out of it. I assume even the baby blizzards will give a good amount. Oh, good. Hello. Um, more mechanoids then? Oh. <laughs> just when I thought that things were safe. Um, wow, that's a lot of mechanoids they sent our way as well, isn't it? Good Jesus. Okay. Um... So another defoliator ship, so I'm not too urgently interested in dealing with that. Let's go trade with these guys, and maybe we should destroy the ship before these guys leave. And have them do... Uh, have our caravan friends maybe help us out a little bit. And if the... I, I hope it doesn't lower opinion. It shouldn't, right? Because they're our settlement? I'm not entirely sure. Um, did we ever finish artillery as well? I don't believe we did. Not that we've got enough steel to build it anyway. Uh, we've got mortars. Yeah, no steel artillery or no any artillery, to be honest. I should research that next. I was also told in the comment section yesterday that the cannons are very, very good. That they're, they're a lot more accurate, so God knows how the hell we, we build cannons or set up cannibals. I probably have to research it first. We'll check that out. Steel. 818 steel. A gift from the gods themselves. Oh, thank fuck. Um, we've also got a load of diamonds. I will admit... I will admit... The only logical upgrade from a golden toilet is a diamond toilet. 
However, I assume diamonds like gold count as a ten type, a material you need ten times of. Although a pure diamond toilet, that is luxury beyond all luxury. A golden toilet, like a jade billiards table is one thing. A golden toilet is one thing. A diamond hot tub. Oh, shit. Okay. Hang on. Firstly, buy the steel. Keep it paused. What do we need for the hot tub? Show, show it me. Uh, hot tub? If we were to build that out of diamonds, uh, well, I don't know if you know if you can build it out of diamonds. Let's buy a few diamonds, see if we can threaten it. Uh, give me some... <laughs> How many diamonds can we afford? Let's buy ten. Let's buy ten, ten of your finest diamonds. Haul those back to base. And then we'll see if, and obviously I'll have to, uh, I'll have to wake up those mechanoids soon if we're ever going to wake them up. We'll see if we can even build a hot tub using them. And then we'll see how many diamonds we have to buy for the whole thing. This is the goal of the series now. Pure, unadulterated decadence. Hot tub, diamond, 150. 150 for the diamond hot tub. <laughs> okay, Delta, we have a mission. How many did we buy there? Like 10? Oh god, that's gonna cost a fortune. We might have to do it over over the course of the entire series, but that is my final goal. That is when we can say victory is is assured when we have that diamond hot tub. Okay, so 150 diamonds uh, is minus 150. Oh wait, hang on, I need to go plus 150. To be fair, it's not that expensive, and we only need 140. Don't forget as well. Um, 9,000. Can I sell you 9,000s worth of stuff? Some sky steel. Okay, that doesn't quite give enough. Do you want some wheat? We'll trade wheat for diamonds. So 1,500 wheat is all yours. Um, I haven't got much else to trade, I'm afraid. Uh, sell them the sky steel. Oh, it's only, we only need another 3,000. Meat? You guys, you guys like meat? Everybody likes meat. There you go. 2,000. Okay, okay. We're getting closer. I can almost taste it. I can almost taste the diamonds. Don't eat diamonds. Um, what else could we sell them? We do have a lot of wheat here. Sell another 2,000. Okay, right. What now? What else can we offer you? Do you like uh, chili peppers? About about uh, 300 chili peppers with your name on it, my friend. And on top of that, how can you have chilies? Every good salad needs chili and tomato, right? 200. <laughs> We're so close. Um, some wood? We can always just go and get more wood. That's, that's quite literally a limitless resource. Uh, same with herring. Same with herring. S sell them 200 herring. And my god, the diamond trade is complete. Excellent. The highest level of decadence we've achieved in any Rimworld colony. A pure diamond hot tub. Hygiene diamond hot tub. Oh, we are going to install. This is going to be a room of decadence now. So we'll install this over here. We'll have the toilet over that side. Obviously, we're going to need a bit of privacy, but you should never. We also need maybe a shower. You shouldn't really go to the toilet and then get into a public hot tub. That's fucked up. So let's see what we can do here to. Um, what can we build? Oh my God, you can build walls out of diamond too. Well, surely that's, like, really, really strong. I mean, diamond's brittle, sure. But if you're building it meter thick, that's going to be very hard to cut through. 900 hit points versus a reinforced steel wall, which has 2,000 hit points. Okay, forget I said anything then. A diamond wall would be fantastic. Um, obviously, we need some more gold tiles down here. Sorry, let's let's finish the decadence room, first and foremost. Do we not have enough to finish that? I thought we had, like... Oh, right, each tile is 70, isn't it? Good God. Well, we might as well, we might as well pull that together. Um, and then, for the time being, for the time being, against my better wishes, we will build a regular door. Um, maybe a silver door. If we don't have enough silver anymore. Right, of course, we just spent it all on diamonds. Here. The finest resource of all. A steel auto door. That way, you can go and do whatever it is you have to do, and then immediately get into the public hot tub. I'm a big fan of this. Pork. High priority. Diamond hot tub, please. So when Pain and Sir gets knocked out a lot, stop being sad. I will wake up those mechanoids. I, I kind of want to do it now, though, before our friends leave. I mean, it's only a defoliator ship, but that's our, the, the thing I'm actually worried about is obviously the army of me mechanoids around it. We're looking at six Kraken, four Vespers, three Goliaths, uh, a Centipede, and five Hounds. Well, that's a lot of enemies. And what the, whatever the hell that... Oh, a Chimera? I don't think we've seen those before. Um... What does that do? Blades, which you spawn to scythe is installed. Oh, great. Oh, so it's the worst of all mechanoids combined. Fantastic. Um, right, get on the mortars then. Let's hit them with a mortar volley. Wake them up. Because to be honest, they're all bunched up right now. So if we 
Get everybody firing at once. Oh, the other guy still gets knocked out. Lies now on the mortars. Bollocks. Have we got anyone else who's good at intellectual besides that? Fear. Fear on the mortars. He probably has a, he has a, he has a score to settle, don't forget, with the mechanoids. Bearing in mind, mortars did murder his brother. Get on these mortars. Let's wake him up before this caravan leaves. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right, they're ready. Set force target. What do you think? Should we hit the ship or should we go for the mechanoids? Let's go for let's go for the ship just because with the radi with, with, the, with the variation in the radius of the actual accuracy of their shots, in theory that will just hit a lot of mechanoids anyway, right? Here they come. Nice shot, nice shot, nice shot. Mechanoids have woken up. Are they coming for us? They don't seem too interested. We did kill some though. Um, get some shells out into the middle of their group. What if we just put it down on the floor there? They all seem to be kind of bunched up around that zone. Okay. Okay, if that, as long as they stay in that area, I think we've got a pretty good chance of hitting something. Oh, nice. There we are. Oh, fantastic. Look at me. We've wiped out already. Incredible work. Um, let's go ahead and hone it on like... I think the centipede still might be the most lethal mechanoid to try and deal with. So let's go for that guy next. I want to kind of wake them up. We would have to destroy the rest of the ship to actually get them to come and attack the base. Well, let's see how our guys do. Well, there we go. That'll do it. Oh, that'll do it. And some more good shots there. Boom. He's dead as well. Rose, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but that is not good. Oh, sweet Jesus, Rose. Thank God that, that very friendly monkey soaked up all that firepower. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, that's my bad. I'm so sorry. I should have I should have drafted her up before we woke up the mechanoid. We, oh, my God. That was such a tactical shot from Rose. She is about to get ripped apart. She is about to get ripped the fuck apart. Rose, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, they're gonna blow up their own. They've blown up their own mechanoid. <gasps> fuck. 14 condition need tending, but she's not bleeding out. 14 condition need tending, but she's not bleeding out. Holy shit, Rose. Uh, let's unforbid those doors, and then we'll just go and rescue her as the raid's going. We'll send someone down to come pick her up. Should we get Sharamus over there ready to go? Bear in mind, Sharamus. I don't know. Oh, you know what? He's our last line of defense. He could be the difference between a victory and a failure here. Um, who's got a pretty crap weapon? Or we just wait for either Pain or so gets knocked out a lot. She's fine anyway. She's not going to die there. Let's see what they've got then. And our trade caravan is exactly where we want it to be. Here we go. Let's see what they've got. So trade caravan versus the mechanoids to start off with. And then we'll kill whatever's left over. I'm hoping they'll kill some of the buffalo to be honest. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's incredible. Look at all the sky steel. The diamonds. And we get our steel back as well. I will admit that was that was fairly that was fairly scummy of me. Please stop going through that fucking door. You morons. You're gonna screw up this whole fucking colony if you're not careful. That's it, assuming they don't blow a hole in the bloody wall. Oh, they've blown a hole. Fuck. Okay, the defenses are compromised. The defenses are very compromised. Helitos pull back. Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> I could cause some issues. I won't lie to you. Um, you guys might want to come around then. You guys might want to come around. Oh, for fuck's sake. They literally blew a hole in the wall. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Get back, get back, get back. Good work, team. Good work, good work, good work. There we go. You know what? We've done a pretty good job of fighting them off. Now we'll get back to the kill box. Good shit, good shit. Line up, line up, line up. There we go. Pain, I don't know what you're doing. But it is madness. It is pure, unadulterated madness. He's shouting at Sharamus. Back off those grenades. Oh, well, we managed to save a couple of people. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. These Krakens are tough as all nails, aren't they? Fucking hell. I'm just going to keep running and gunning, trying to avoid the grenades. Shit. Wow, these grenades are so strong. They're, they're too strong. They're absurd. These fucking mechanoids are absolutely absurd. Well. Uh, I guess that's the end of that raid then. Brilliant. <laughs> it's not doing anything. It's been like this for five minutes. I thought I'd give it some time. I think we are unfortunately going to have to uh, have to see what our lost autosave was there. It's alright. Don't worry about it. Windows is reporting the problem to Microsoft. Very thankful. We're reloading right in the heat of combat here. So this is this is no pressure, but we might just instantly get cloud. Entire herds of animals may attack you when not responding. Good. When you try to hunt them, except the risk for hunting or choose weaker prey. Hopefully that's just uh Oh Jesus. Okay. We're gonna have to react pretty goddamn quickly if I don't want to lose anyone here. If someone has a serious infection in the limb, you can remove the limb to save their life. That you can. I'm not I'm not looking forward to this. It has crashed, but I think it's just a regular Rimworld crash rather than one of those complete broken game crashes. 
Okay. Oh! Okay. What the fuck do we do then? Uh, who's that? You need to get out of there immediately. Oh, God, he's getting absolutely... Oh, it's crashed again! Oh, no! I hate to say it, I think we may have to reload back to the start of the raid. Um... Yeah, it's gone again. Fuck. Oh, this sucks. Okay. Um... Let's try loading back just as... Let's go to the save before this one, then. I think I think that's fair. Are we all in agreement there? We'll go back to the save before this one and see if we can... Uh, see if we can get through it on that one. God, that sucks so much. Never mind. Okay. Round two. Round three. Ooh. Oh, man. Auto save three, though, is before... If we look at the last events, it's before these ships even landed. I don't feel like that's fair. I feel like we're missing an entire event doing it via that method. Um... Let me just go back to my regular RimWorld, uh, RimWorld overlay here. Okay, let's give this one another go. I'll just keep trying this one until eventually we do get it working. I know it's not an ideal situation, but I would feel bad loading back to before when this is dropped in. Right, it seems to be okay now. I managed to get a move route going, which which is uh, looked like it was what was causing issues last time. I'm a little bit concerned that we may be losing some people this time around, though. Bear in mind, Delta is down in six hours. Uh, 19 hours there. We've only got two more to kill, along with that fucking centipede. So as long as we can have Sharamus do his do his sort of plan of attack. Pain is oh pain is off of Mental Break 2. Let's get Pain behind some cover here. And just keep blasting. Come on, get get a bit closer. Get a bit closer. Let's move up to us. Move closer for fuck's sake. Right, how many more have we got? Just two more of these Krakens, and then we should be good. I'm hoping that Sharamus can come and deal with these guys. While Sharamus is dealing dealing with the centipede, we can send everyone else to go and deal with. Melee attack centipede, get in there. Would the, everyone else go deal with the with those who've been down? So you rescue Edward Crosby. Port rescues Delta. Smooth Octopus rescue What's It. Upsa rescue Halitos. Oh god, this is so fucked. Um, you rescue Halitos. Pain rescue Rose. And then we don't have any doctors. That is a big problem. And then hopefully Sharamus can solo this uh this centipede. Oh look at that! Show no fear in the face of otherwise certain death. Get in there with your legs. Look at this man. He's the hero we've needed. Look at him go. The centipede slayer Sharamus himself. I was going to say, who the hell was that? Um, 53%. Yeah, he's got this in the bag. Oh, shit, he got stunned though. A little, little bit of a minor stun. Nothing to worry about. How's he looking? One condition he's attending. He's got this. Right, let's speed to it. Speed to it. Get this done. Stop focusing on these distractions. Get to our people that need the treatment. Do we have any capable doctors right now? We absolutely don't. Sharamus, Smooth Octopus, Sir gets knocked out a lot. You're all you're all on call now. Okay. Mechanoids dealt with, yes? Okay. 100% dealt with. Nice work. I'm glad we loaded back into this one. I'm glad we loaded back in. But now we've got to try and save our people, which might be a different kettle of fish entirely. Tend to Smooth Octopus. Uh, let's prioritize here. Bleeding out in 18 hours. Upsa. Uh, Halitos is actually not dying. Upsa is fine. Pain is fine. Rose is fine. Uh, to be honest, Smooth Octopus might be one of our highest priority people then. Um, or let's just Smooth Octopus tend to themselves so that we can focus on everyone else, of course. Edward Crosby is dying quite soon. Um, so here's how we're going to triage this. Edward Crosby first. Then what's it? Who else are we waiting on? Uh, Delta is being brought back. Uh, Pork, drop Delta. You're too slow. Sharamus rescue Delta. Pork, get in there. Delta's dying in four hours. Delta needs tending... Right, like, right now. Delta is top priority. Okay, okay. Hold that door open. Let's get some speed going here. Hold that door open, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How's Rose doing? Rose was fine, right? Yeah, Rose is okay. Rose is just, uh... Rose is just down from bruises. Okay, get her home. I know I could drop her on the floor and set up a attending spot. The only issue with that is we'd have to go around turning off every single bed, making it prison or whatever else. Otherwise, they'll preferential... They'll, they'll use that preferentially over everything else. Relations with Empire Sphere is changed. As it just. Right, good work. Okay, so smooth octopus. After you're finished with Edward Crosby, okay. To be honest, those two guys are, are going to be fine. Let's get you down here, ready. Actually, let's. Uh, okay, I'm going to min max this a lot more than I normally would. Pick up the herbal medicine. Pick up that herbal medicine as well. No, no, no. Pick up that. Pick up all of it. Head over here. We're going to have to eat it on the floor, and then we're going to tend to you immediately. Drop that, and then tend to Sharamus, a better doctor. Six point three. Actually, Sharamus is the better doctor. Let Sharamus deal with it. Wow, okay. What a mess, but I think we actually may have survived it. Has anyone lost anything? Let's go through and do a quick head count, or finger count, arm count, leg count, whatever count you want to do. No damage. No damage. 
No damage. No damage. I'm talking about permanent damage here. We, we might have more to deal with in the future. Nothing there. You've lost a finger. That's not that's that's not really a problem. You've lost a thumb. Stomach's been destroyed. That's a previous as previous combat. Head has been hit by a grenade. To be honest, to say these people got absolutely wrecked by some of these guys, the power armor really did save them. It really helped keep them together. Thank God we expanded this hospital, huh? Because we've just got just about enough beds for everybody that needed them. Right. In terms of priorities, then people are being tended to relatively decent priority yeah uh you should really work on what's it next thing as he is life-threatening potentially where did you get those fish <laughs> i probably shouldn't ask pork you're dying rest okay delta after delta is finished we're gonna go she's fine then after oh yeah rescue pork move on pork right now where the fuck are you taking pork who's reserved this bed it's no longer a medical bed fuck off uh and then put it back and then drop okay rescue pork Boom. Okay, there we go. Get him down. And tend. Five hours. He should be fine. Hello, Muffin. He should be absolutely okay. Four hours. Up to seven. We're good. That was... I was looking a bit touch and go there, but I think everybody is currently at a stage now where none of them are bleeding out. They just need tending to avoid infection. And to be honest, the chance of getting infection in this place is very, very low. Let's get the robots out here. Start to clean this place up to avoid even more infection risk. So they destroyed our adult entertainment center. Whatever. Fine. Um, taxes build as well, so we'll go ahead and check that one out. It'd be funny if they send exactly the same stuff, even though they just got crushed. Yeah, they have. That's incredible. Um, obviously, we can't afford the, the animal tithe as well. Of course, I'm going to stick with the animal tithe. People seem to be quite a big fan of that. So, someone worked out that the, the, the price that we got in terms of the animals was much more than what we invested into it. So, definitely going to keep that one going, even if we just end up selling or butchering the animals. That's still fine. More importantly, 1,000 sky steel, 2,500 silver. This is insane. Did we not have more silver than that on the floor? Maybe we got blown up by grenades or something. But th we've made an incredible amount of stuff just from this raid as well. Ignoring the mechanoids. <laughs> we've got diamonds and everything. That's insane. And an exotic goods trader. I wonder if they'll be interested in my newly acquired diamonds. I'm going to go ahead and flip bed rest back to pro top priority again. Here come the cleaning bots to try and tidy this place up. Because God knows it's a fucking mess. Um, going to go take off your clothes. Because apparently they're... Oh, not much of a shocker there, is it? Okay. Um, tennis booth octopus. How about you tend to Edward Crosby? We need to build a drugs lab, and I'm thinking we'll use the excess space in the hospital to do exactly that. We need a drugs lab to be able to produce our own medicine. We've got more than enough neutramine, and we all, I believe the other things we need are like herbal medicine, so we've got more than enough to do it. Uh, drug lab. And let's go ahead and build it out of silver. Yeah, silver drug lab, just for the, uh, just for the sterility. Uh, what am I looking for here? Dining chair. Silver dining chair? It's a lot of silver, isn't it? So Sir gets knocked out a lot as our second best trader. I'm going to get him to come and trade with this exotic good ship. See what we can... See what we can get from them. See if there's anything worth trading for here. Where is he? He's taking... Oh, God. What's it? No! Okay. Uh, Delta's miscarriage due to poor house. She's no longer capable of walking. That's not much of a surprise, given that she was shot to quite literal bits there. Um, so, we, see, we've got 200 new training. This is why I want to build that drug lab as soon as possible. We've even got Glitter World Medicine. It might be better to pick some of that up. Buy some Glitter World Medicine and see if we can just sell them some crap to afford it. Let's sell them like 150 Plasteel. No, I, I said 150. Um, yikes. What am, what am I going to sell them to be able to... Royal Thrombophobe. We don't want that. Get rid of that shit. Um, God, they've got some really cool stuff. The Fell Amplifier. Colossal Nautiloid Egg. Those are quite cool. A bit pointless where we live right now. Um, Bionic Spine. Obviously, the Architect Arm is insane. Is that a reference to Sims in hindsight? Sim City. There used to be these um, massive arcos, which were the... Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting, getting distracted here. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, right, okay. Sell them that. Sell them the elephant tusks. There we go. Okay, we need a tiny little bit more. Uh, some beer. Perfect. Some good to warm medicine. All right, okay. That should, if we get any more kind of lethal infections, should allow us to keep our people alive, I think. I don't know about you guys, but this this is my level of room This is my sort of favorite level of room where a raid really is... Hard hitting, quite crippling, potentially life threatening, but you always bounce back. Like that makes Rimworld fun for me personally. I like being right on that knife edge. I don't really, I can understand the appeal of it, building just a, a, a like the perfect base and how many people do their regular jobs and shit. But for me, I like the the actual threat, and it makes it makes the successes obviously a lot larger. Um, and it also makes robbing your allies all that sweeter too. Thank you. Oh, they've given us. Rebel pistol. I thought it was a laser gun. I mean, it probably is a laser gun, but it looks pretty crap. Oh, we got our tomatoes back. Great news. And all that sky steel, too. Reinforced sky steel walls. How about that for the next kill box? Rather more limestone. 
Reinforced Sky Steel, because we've got a shitload of it. It's 15 Sky Steel per reinforced wall, right? And Sky Steel, as I recall, has slightly more um, ha has slightly more hit points than uh, than regular steel. Can we do that? Sky Steel reinforced wall gives 1,500. Oh, wait, is that not less? Hang on. Steel? Oh, it is less. Shit. I guess we just build out of steel then. Never mind. No, wait, Sky Steel has high beauty, right? So if you craft things out of it, they're more beautiful, and in return, you get the bonus in that regard. Right, cool. Um, Diamond Hot Tub is actually almost ready to be built. So I'm going to do my usual tactic then of giving them a few days rest. So we'll go ahead and copy that right down the... It's a shame this isn't something you can quickly paste down, huh? Uh, we'll go ahead and paste that down. Let them have the rest. Bear in mind, that doesn't mean that they won't work. It just means they'll focus on themselves. Then they'll work after that. And I feel like it's more than essential here. Is everybody okay? In stable health, in stable health, everybody seems fine. Incapacitate, two conditioning intending for pork. Why is he not intended to? What the fuck do I pay you people for? Smooth octopus, get to tending. Um, right, so we got up to pork. Pain is fine. Circuit's not out a lot is fine. Suffering, fear is bleeding out. I forgot her name was suffering. Fucking hell. Um, who was our other good doctor? I think pork was all right, right? Was it pork? No, it wasn't pork. Sharamus, Sharamus was on it. Oh, he's already on it. Thank you. Uh, Sharamus in stable health. Edward Crosby is infected by an infection. What was his 10 quality there? Uh... 24% infection spread, 20% immunity, but the only reason for that being uh, slightly ahead is that they had to tend to everything else before they got to the infection. So, fingers crossed he should be fine. And then quarantine also needs tending to as well, but our doctors are quite thinly spread. So, um, hey, they come all our taxes too. I give him a little bit of leeway in that. No, no, I wanted to queue that up. Why did that not work? Tend to pork, then tend to quarantine. Thank you. I'm going to change the disease immunity margin to 5%. That way, if the disease is 5% above the immunity, they'll use the highest level of medicine, which I think is more than appropriate. Disease minimum severity threshold 5%. I'm going to lower that as well. I think I think it's more important to fight these diseases as and when they turn off. Minor cuts threshold. Let's drop that to... I'm happy to be a bit more gung-ho with medicine. Bear in mind, we aren't using the, the base game medicine systems. Medicine, by extent, is going to be less rare because we can craft it for ourselves. Neutral, we haven't just got to get from... Uh, haven't just got to get from traders and whatnot. So let's go ahead and put down a couple of drug cabinets. I hope that hopefully that one can connect up to there from that distance. Then we can uh, craft our own drugs. Then we'll be fine. So then it's the final thing I'll do for today. There's been a very heavy raid episode. As we'd expect, playing on Mercer's again. This for me is is the, the Rimworld at its most fun. Is the is the extreme difficulty where a raid could quite literally mean the difference between failure and success. Let's go ahead and build the diamond hot tub. I guess that's gonna take a lot of work though. One thousand three hundred and thirty-four. Fuck. Uh, do we have like a do we have a hammer for pork to try and help speed him up? Yeah, we've got plenty of hammers for pork. Yeah, can we get one of those? Uh, equip a steel wooden hammer. Wooden hammer's fine. It doesn't matter the type of hammer. They all give the same bonus. Right, get that and then pick that up as well. Boom. Just got to make sure he's... Uh, but both of them are set to being his weapons there. Why is Good World Medicine being held on there? That's annoying. Um, maybe I just never set it up for the... Oh, because we moved the stockpile. Right, of course. Hang on. Uh, let's go ahead and put down a dumping stockpile zone. Like, I guess, there and there. Let's go critical, clear all, and then glitter tech. Then in the meantime, we'll let... We'll let our boy Pork build that hot tub ready for their day of recreation they've got coming up. I think I might also reinstall the um, Psychic Emanator to cover the whole hospital with it. If we put it there, it covers the hospital and the dining room and the kitchen as well. And obviously the uh, the butchery. Butchery? Whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and get that reinstalled then. Try and keep everybody in a semi-decent mood. The last thing we want are people like Delta with the infection and, and Edward Crosby with an infection to be getting out of bed mid-infection. Fucking case in point right there. Thank you. Uh, and get themselves killed. What was a rose? Is she alright? Pigging out. Yeah. Uh, picking out on what exactly? T -t TV. Picking out on TV is, is to answer that question. Right, let's get the, this drug stab finished off. Is that installed? Yep, that should keep everyone decently happy. Then I'll just queue up a shitload of medicine. Make medicine, but what do we need? Cloth, nutramine, herbal medicine. I think we've got all of that, haven't we? Um, so let's do it until we've got X, where X is 20. I think it's more than fair, so do it once, basically. Uh, and then we'll unpause it when we've only got five left. So that way we'll, at maximum, have 25 in the stockpile. Let's go ahead and copy all those over. Very nice. Oh, here we go. One diamond hot tub. <laughs> what I actually realized as well is if we reinstall it over there, uh, we can fit in this room as well the jade table. The jade billiards table. It occurred to me afterwards that we should probably also put one of those down. We haven't got any jade, seriously, all this time. What about a chasseldunny? Oh, wait. 
Well, there's nowhere near enough room. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, I forgot to include the edges. That's annoying. Oh, shit. We might have to make the luxury room a bit larger. But the diamond hot tub alone, I think that's more than sufficient. Pork, as the creator, I will allow you... Oh, I wanted to make him manually go into the hot tub. That's okay. I'm sure someone else will use it soon. We'll leave that one there for today. Pretty good progress. Over. We've, we've persevered against a horde of Krakens and the game itself to success. Thank you to Crow Skull, Scott, Alex, Tom Terror 18, Bacon Kitten, Darthawk, Alchemia, Scary Scurvy, Anthony Gawley, Buen Gun, Derek, Slippy Nips, Ben Hoffman, Huey Longdon, Aromatic Fool, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon for the highest level of support available for the channel. Thank you guys for keeping the channel going over the past couple of months. And a thank you as well goes out to Tentacle Beast Loves Trees, Icy the Great, Caron24, Spirit085, Chronic Blob, William H, Jackson P, Under the Couch, Joseph Beer, Jason Sushu, Jeebus Crust, Talar, Russian Oligarch Billionaire, Jessica Smith, RKL, and everyone else at Patreon as well. Thank you guys for keeping the channel possible. Thank you for making Rimmel possible. See you all tomorrow for well, I'll let some time tick and I'll let them I'll let them recover, and then we can dive straight back into straight back into the regular stuff.